everyone welcome back to my channel this is part two of how to start a dog grooming business from home and today we're talking about business planning so not everyone needs to do this so if you feel like you don't need to do this then that's fine you can just skip ahead and look at part three um, so business planning really is you having a brainstorm moment putting it on a piece of paper and then organizing that um, it helps really with um, grants so if you was looking to a business for a loan or a grant or the government and um, they ask for this particular thing um, it's just really a schedule of what you're doing now and how you want to achieve your business in the future um, so within this um, business plan you need to have certain things in there like a three year plan or three to five year plan really and where you want to be in five years um what will the business be so obviously what we're talking about is dog grooming so you need to uh, specifically say if you wanted it home based and um, if you want it to be mobile or salon um and who is it involved who's involved in this adventure that you're going for is it just yourself or are you planning to have employees working for you um and what will you do? So, like, are you willing to do just grooms or are you willing to do microchipping on the side and selling products? It's just anything you're willing for your business to involve, you will need to be putting this into your plan so that the uh, government or the banks can make a, a correct analysis of the business so that when you do borrow the money, then they've got the full story. Um, where will it be done so ideally if you're at home it's probably a lot they say it's about 20% 20 percent um, of what it costs to be in a salon to be at home um, because you don't have all your all the heads so it depends really if you want it within a salon which everyone starts from somewhere so if you want to start from home and then build up your clientele then finally get either a mobile van or do mobile grooming and or if you would like to go to a store um, and have a salon within the shop then that's absolutely fine but just make sure you put this into your plan and um, how many how many customers are you planning on having um, your customer base so how many people can you adhere to and that needs to be in there too so if there's only yourself you've got to figure out how long it will take you to do a groom and um, and how long how long it will you'll be working throughout the day so if you say like nine to five and you need to figure out them hours to how many dogs you'll be able to do with one hour. the major one really is how much money you need to start up um because equipment is expensive i'm not going to lie to you but it's how much of equipment and what kind of equipment you're looking for to start up. Are you willing to go from your basic and then throw out your takings and um, are you willing to just then buy them afterwards? Um, best thing to put in there as well is your own training, how much experience you've got within the dog industry or the animal industry in that matter. Um, if you've been to college or if you have experience within a dog grooming salon um, but you're deciding to go on, on your own venture um, all these will need to be in separate paragraphs just so that um, they outline each of the points that I've discussed also include how much you're willing to put in for hours, um, money, um, how much you're expecting to earn within the first year they also like you to mention um, what other groomers live within your area and what um, what percentage of the area around you have pets um, just so they've got an inkling of how much you're able to do within the first two to three years. You will need to also include what you are willing to charge people. Obviously look at your competitors around you, um, especially your area and try and match the prices. The major thing they look for um, in a new business um, that you could add in there is having a clear vision of where you are and where you want to be 
in the future. Um, show your passion for the business that you're wanting to run. Show that your uh, abilities for the sales as well, um, your abilities to sell to people. Um, they like the fact that you're willing to show them how good you are. Um, so always add in a bit of, say, stuff that drives you, such as why your purpose of doing this business and how it will benefit the economy as well as yourself and what products and services you're willing to do. So there is a lot more online, um, but then the major uh, thing to do ask for. Um, but if you are wanting to search online, the gov.uk site does have a bit of inkling on there of what you would need extra. Also, there's a few people as well who are willing to help. Um, like I said, just go on Google, put it in a business plan and a template will come up for you. Um, thank you for watching and see you in part three. Thank you.